perfect feathers are key to a good badminton shuttlecock. 16 of them to be exact. Craftspeople in India's Jaduberia village have been making these birdies by hand for generations. The area used to be filled with over 500 small factories like Dodo shuttles. But foreign competition and growing demand for synthetic shuttlecocks have forced many to close and scores of workers have left to find higher paying jobs. We visited West Bengal to see how India's shuttlecock capital is still standing. All of Dodo's shuttlecocks are made with white duck feathers. Workers like Israel Mullik wash them in small bunches in soapy water. Usually he works in the final stages of production, but today he's on washing duty. He and his co-worker scrub by the handful for several seconds. It can take workers up to an hour to get through a batch this size. Local duck meat farmers sell these feathers in bulk to the factory. Next, they rinse the bunches in water and set them aside to drip off. Israel fills his buckets with fresh water for a second rinse. He keeps one clean and dilutes a small amount of natural indigo dye in the other. This gives the feathers a very subtle tint that keeps them from yellowing. Working swiftly in tandem, they rinse, dye, and wring out handfuls at a time. Then they spread them out to dry in the sun for three to four hours. The clean and dry feathers go inside to be sorted and trimmed. This is co-owner Subod Niyogi's favorite part of the whole process. Selection ka upar ek top satel ka durability, flight, sab kuch maintain hota hai. Selection ka upar. Bor mein khana khayega, wo chawal rahega to jo kuch de ke khana padega. Lekin chawal nahi rahega khayega kya? Aisa ho. A worker inspects each feather, looking for strength and uniformity. If one isn't up to standard, it gets discarded. Then he trims them to exactly three inches long. His shears are bolted together to ensure there's no variation in length. Next, a team of workers start to shape them. They take just a few seconds to cut out a curved edge on one side and a straight edge on the other. The cutters are so practiced that they don't even require a guide to churn through hundreds of identically trimmed feathers a day. Even though the Niyogis are proud to use only Indian feathers, they do import these cork bases from China. A worker drills 16 holes into each base with the only machine used at the factory. But it isn't fully automated. Someone still has to guide it into place with a steady hand and a good eye. Precision like this is also key when it comes to gluing the feathers into the base. With just a quick dab of glue, a worker aligns each feather so it overlaps with the next, occasionally checking that they're all even. And then another binds them together with thread. This forms what's called the skirt of a shuttlecock. This is nanol thread. Se hota hai. Nanol thread se isko binding kiya jata hai. Zada strong banane ke liye, durability banane ke liye. He knots around each feather's shaft, making two separate rings of thread. But for an added bit of security, a worker also applies a thin coat of epoxy to the base and threads with a paintbrush. Then it's time for the finishing touches, like a label that indicates the speed of the shuttlecock, and of course, the Dodo brand. 
One important aspect of Israel's job is to weigh each one before packaging. ऐसे होता है वेट अगर वो थोड़ा वेट ज़्यादा बढ़ाना है तो ऐसे करके वेट बढ़ाते हैं। Once they're at 70 grams, he stacks 10 of them in a tube and prepares them for sale across India. Depending on the quality, Dodo sells each tube for 200 to 300 rupees, or about three to four dollars. Production here is often done in stages, but from start to finish, a single shuttlecock takes just 30 minutes to make. Our hands are well. Well, our machine is finished. Our hands are more than finished. More than half. No, by the way, more than machine is more than finished. Half. No. এটা দেখতে ভালো লাগে সুন্দর যেন একটা লোক নিতে গেলে খুব পছন্দ হয় মালটা সুন্দর কিন্তু মেশিনে এত ভালো হবে না However this handmade approach means small places like this can't make as much product or as much profit as major global brands that use machines This has forced many of the workers in Jadarbaria out of the village's traditional industry over the past few years তাহলে আমাদের সব লোক চলে যাবে বাদ চলে যাবে আমাকে এই ফিনিশ ডিপেন্ডে আমাদের থাকতে হবে দুজনকে যে আমার পনেরো জন লেবার তখন দুটো লেবার রাখ দিবে মিশিন এসে গেলে তাহলে এই কামগুলো করতে হবে এই কাজগুলো করতে হবে রাইজেনথেটিক শাটল কক্স ইস অ্যানাদার থ্রেট প্লাস্টিক অ্যান্ড নাইলন অল্টারনেটিভস হ্যাভ বিকাম মোর পপুলার ইস দেয়ার অফ এন্ড চিপার অ্যান্ড লাস্ট লঙ্গার প্লাস্টিক সার্জন তো বুদ্ধা আদমি যে হয় প্লাস্টিক ও মানে বডি ফিট রাখলে খেলিয়ে খেলতে হয় উসমে তো মজা নেই হয় প্লাস্টিক সার্জন মজা নেই হয় খেলনে সে But that's changing. In January 2020, the Badminton World Federation announced it would allow approved synthetic shuttlecocks at all levels of competition, starting in 2021. But the coronavirus pandemic has delayed widespread development and approval of them. And opinions among professional players are still mixed on how it could impact the sport. But for the workers who rely on feathered shuttlecocks, there's no substitute for the real thing. এইটা না হলে আমরা চলবে না এই গাড়িটা এইটা আমরা আছি বলে চলছে 